Hello dear students, this is Hazm Rashwan from Mishkat School uh, and this is Traveler 2, um, Module 3, Lesson 3C. Um, this lesson is on the student book, uh, is on page 38. Um, the objectives of our lesson today are uh, to study a grammatical point. The grammatical point is the reflexive pronoun and then the second point is to answer uh, the practice or some exercise on the student book and on the workbook. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the front page and then we will go uh, to a chart about the, uh, the pronouns. First of all we have here the subject pronouns, the seven pronouns, right, uh, which I use then at the beginning of the sentence. So I say I go you go he goes and so on and this is the uh, these are the object the object pronouns me you him her and so on these are the uh, possessive pronouns the possessive adjectives and then the possessive pronouns and finally the reflexive pronouns this is what we will study today these are the reflexive pronouns so from the subject pronoun I, we use myself. First of all, we'll, I'd like to clarify what are the reflexive pronouns. The reflexive pronouns are um, the, the words ending in self or selves, uh, which are used uh, when the subject and the object, right? The subject and the object um, uh, of a sentence are the same. For example, uh, I I believe in myself when I say I believe in myself right uh, I did the, the homework myself or by myself you can use uh, either of them right so what uh, what we will go what we gonna talk about today are the reflexive pronouns right um, let's go to uh, to the student book this is the page on the student book uh, what we will study is the grammatical point here, this page uh, 38, as you know. And we will start with the grammatical point. Here we have some examples. For example, Ted taught himself English, right? Mr. Abdullah taught him English. So what we have here are the subject Ted and Mr. Abdullah, right? Here we have himself. This is the reflexive pronoun from Ted. So if we replace Ted with he, we can say he taught himself, right, English. And Mr. Abdullah taught him English. In which sentence does the pronoun refer to the subject? Here we have the answer in the first sentence, right? Here we have the, uh, the subject, right, the first sentence. Do you ever stay at home by yourself? For, uh, by, by the way, we have yourself and yourself. Yourself for, for just one, when you talk about yourself only, and yourselves this yourselves when you refer to okay a group of people so you say you are Ahmed so you did the homework by yourself but you are students and you did the homework by yourselves right what does the phrase by uh, yourself mean it means by yourself means alone without any help this is the meaning of by yourself right um, what's the difference between yourself and yourself as we said yourself is second person singular number why yourself is second person uh, second person plural number right now let's move to the chart we have the chart here the subject pronoun the object and then we have the reflexive pronoun so when I find I at the beginning of the sentence I use myself when I find you I can use yourself or yourselves um, according to the context of the uh, of the sentence right so if, if I mean in the sentence you alone so I use yourself but when I mean a group of people I use yourself right this is the difference between yourself alone not only one but yourselves okay group of people right he himself she herself um, it itself uh, we ourselves you yourselves and I clarify the difference between you and you here they themselves right uh, here we have the uh, use of reflexive pronouns the first point 
as an object of a verb when the subject and the object of a verb are the same I bought myself I can say I bought I or I bought me right um, I bought myself an expensive pair of shoes uh, as an object of uh, preposition when the object of uh, the preposition is the same at the object and the verb uh, of the verb he never talks about himself um, this is the example he never talks about himself he, can you say he never talks about him or he never talks about uh, he we can't say that but the the correct one is to say he never talks about himself I never talk about myself right we never talk about ourselves and so on right uh, we have a small note here we use by reflexive pronoun to show that someone does something alone without any help from anyone else so um, I can use by just to add some emphasis to the sentence so I use I say I did the homework by myself or I can say I did the homework myself right so you can use either of them they are correct both are correct to say I did the homework myself or I did the homework by myself right so you can use any one of them here we have one and ones one refer to only one and ones refer to okay group so uh, this black jacket is nice right the black jacket is nice but I like the blue one one here refer to the black jacket so we have only one black jacket so we say one instead of saying the black jacket is nice but I like the, bl the blue jacket so instead of saying jacket again you say only one so one I use it okay um, uh, instead of saying or repeating repeating the name again if it is singular only one but here in this sentence I say I have the sentence here. I think these gloves are horrible so I prefer the red ones why these ones here that's very good because we have gloves here and the gloves are plural so if you have plural noun here we use ones right if we have a singular noun here right I use only one right I think this is clear right we have here uh, the explanation of one and ones uh, or the usage of one and ones we use one when we don't want to repeat a singular countable noun which cat is yours the black one because I'm talking about cat only one cat we use ones when we don't want to repeat a plural plural countable noun which shoes do you like the brown ones so I'm talking about shoes here and shoes are plural right uh, we have here uh, the first practice on the reflexive pronouns right um, we will use the uh, the correct uh, reflexive pronoun according to the subject here so we have here she you you and we but adding to that we use the suitable verb the suitable verb on the list we have here to fill in the spaces so we have two tasks here the first task is to fill in the space with the suitable reflexive pronoun right the suitable reflexive pronoun and then we will use or in addition to uh, the suitable verbs where well, the verbs we have are enjoyed cut made look at right number one and felt ill and felt ill so she some tea so she made she made what very good herself be careful you will with that knife knife which we use to cut things so you will very good cut cut what cut yourself that's very good hurt yourself did you in the mirror today this mirror which we use to see ourselves okay in the bedroom or the or any place at home right uh, did you in the mirror today did you look at so we have you here as we said we can use you for singular and you for plural if it is for singular we use it yourself with F but if it is for plural we use yourselves right 
so did you so we can use either of them did you okay look at yourself in the mirror or yourselves right you can replace yourself with yourselves according to what you intend what you have in your mind right um, uh, number four we at restaurant at the restaurant yesterday so we enjoyed we enjoyed what from we what's the reflexive pronoun from we that's very good ourselves so we enjoyed ourselves right at the restaurant yesterday um, here we have um, an exercise for this for the next point on the uh, our grammatical rule one and ones right look at those trousers trousers are plural ah that's very good so when we talk about them the trousers trousers what we wear right like pants right so which one or one's trousers with s plural so we use ones that's very good yes we complete the conversation the brown one or ones over there so i i still talking about trousers so ones as well that's very good because i mean here with the brown i mean the trousers and the brown trousers so instead of saying which trousers say which ones instead of saying the brownie trousers over there see the brownie ones over there right this is it okay this is what we uh, we have to use right um, yes they are lovely and you can wear them with a nice shirt for your job interview we talk this word the job interview okay this is when you uh, when you sit with the, the employer right to show what you have uh, the skills the abilities and so on uh, to um, okay to hire you right to make them hire you yeah with my white with my white one or ones so we are talking here the lovely one and the, talking about the shirt the nice shirt so the shirt here is singular just only one shirt so one that's very good then you here I'm still talking about the shirt only one shirt right so the new one right yes how much are they they are 300 Saudi real that's very good um, now let's move to uh, to the workbook on the workbook we have here um, uh, the second before I forget uh, we just charge for you the the most important points in the student book on the lessons so um, you have to you have only uh, to study what we give you we will choose uh, page 38 the grammatical points and as well we will choose page 41 the vocabulary uh, the vocabulary uh, part uh, and the grammar part and as well we will choose page uh, 44 the roundup right this what we uh, what we will study in uh, uh, in this unit right and um, in addition to what we studied before with what we studied before uh, is okay okay but what we will study inshallah what we will take uh, next sessions in the lab uh, page 40 page 41 right and page uh, 44 right so we still have two lessons on this unit page 41 and page uh, 44 and page 41 we have only uh, we have only the vocab and the grammar uh, in addition to the practice right and on page um, on page 44 uh, we have uh, the round that we will study uh, the whole roundup on page uh, 44 so um, don't worry uh, we give you um, okay uh, the most important points in the uh, in the unit so uh, don't worry uh, what we have here um, for lesson 3c right uh, we will skip this part and we will go uh, to this part here um, complete the sentence with the reflexive pronouns right uh, Samantha is a baby 
she can't uh, walk why we're talking about she here right she so we say she can't walk by her self right she can't walk by herself uh, I'm really busy right now why don't you make some tea I'll join you in a minute why don't you make okay yourself right we have you here Let's say yourself right according to the subject here Dennis is graduation was very nice we all will enjoy it We're talking about we here so we all enjoyed ourselves right Matt doesn't have a driving license but he has learned how to drive by he right by himself um, you don't need to worry about dinner I'll make myself a sandwich when I get back from work um, third and uh, and wine right hurt we're talking about two here Todd and wine so we, we consider them they right so themselves right while they were trying to climb a tree in the park this is the um, the answer for the workbook right right um, and now okay to the next uh, or to the next exercise right the next exercise on page um, yes on page uh, 31 so this is the workbook on page 31 right here we have uh, to fill in the spaces with one or one so you have to think about what you're talking about you can talk about the gloves here right so what what do you say one or ones instead of a gloves with s yes that's very good you say ones so which so the uh, the conversation between Hamza and Todd so Hamza whose are those gloves which say which ones that's very good the blue ones on the desk no I haven't uh, are they yours no I have some blue ones as well so all of these ones refer to gloves right because we am talk we are talking about a plural one right here the conversation between the conversation between Terry and Bob right I think you should buy a new tie so we are, what we are talking about is a tie a tie just one tie tie what we used to uh, to put um, around our neck when you wear a suit right when you wear a suit okay you have to wear a tie right uh, another another one or ones yes one that's very good I don't think so but you need talking about the tie as well we are still talking about the tie so but you need one for your for that suit you are going to wear uh, to Jimmy's wedding wedding as uh, the event when someone get married right how about this one as well that's we know it's too it's too expensive right uh, this is our lesson for today dear students I hope you enjoyed it I'd like you to go to the school site to answer the question I give you just okay three or, or two points uh, to answer them so please go to the uh, to the school site and answer uh, the questions right goodbye see you next lesson inshallah assalamu alaikum